Welcome to Foglife Video Solutions. This video details how to install and configure a SQL Server based PI repository. My name is John Sakalaskis and I'm a technical product specialist for the Foglife product. The prerequisites to use a SQL Server based PI repository are a server running Microsoft Windows Server 2016 and a Windows Administrator user account to access the server and either standard or enterprise edition of Microsoft SQL Server 2016 Service Pack 1 or higher using a case insensitive collation such as SQL underscore Latin 1 underscore general underscore CP1 underscore CI underscore AS. Antivirus exclusions are also required for the Microsoft SQL Server instance. Please consult a deployment guide for specific size requirements based on the number of database agents being monitored. Please use the default settings for any properties which are not detailed below. On the Feature Selection panel, select the Database Engine Services feature and place the installation directories on Volume C. For the server configuration, use the Mixed Mode for authentication and add the current user to the SQL Server Administrators group. The user can specify the data directories when enabling PI for the first agent or, optionally, in the Database Engine Configuration panel, set the data directories as follows. User database directory is on volume F. Database log directory is on volume E. We will begin by running the SQL Server setup utility to add a new SQL Server standalone installation. Enter the product key or accept the default value and click Next. Then accept the license terms and click Next again. In the Install Features panel, select the checkbox for the Database Engine Services and set the installation directories to Volume C of Disk 1. Then click Next. Accept either the default instance or add details for a named instance. Then click Next. Configure the service count and collation panels if desired. The collation used should be of a case insensitive type. Then click Next. Use the mixed mode for authentication. Enter the SQL Server System Administrator SA password twice and add the current user and additional users to the SQL Server Administrators group. Then click the Data Directories tab. Since the PI Agent Installer can initialize the SQL PI schema automatically, the user can specify the data directories when enabling PI for the first database agent. Configuring the data directories here is optional. Review the summary page and click Install to begin the installation. The installation will take several minutes to complete. We have sped up the installation screens in this video. Once the installation is completed, review the information about the setup operation or possible next steps and details. Then click the Close button. Log in to SQL Server Management Studio and connect to the Microsoft SQL Server instance created for the PI repository. Right-click the instance name to edit the instance properties and select the memory panel. Set the maximum memory to the value recommended by Quest for your deployment size and click the OK button. Once these steps have been completed, the new SQL Server-based PI repository is ready to be used. Please refer to other support videos that detail how to configure database agents to use the new SQL Server-based PI repository. To learn more about Foglife for databases, visit us at support.quest.com. For quick support questions, follow us at Quest Experts on Twitter.